Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. I'm starting a new tutorial series on ASP.NET Core React and Redux tutorials. Now in this tutorial, we'll show you how to create your first React.js component in ASP.NET Core application. Let's start the lesson one. And here we got the final output of our application. Here it is. Our component contains the headers ASP.NET Core React.js with React Tutorials. This is our React Tutorials 1. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Visual Studio 2019 for this video tutorial series. First, I'm creating a new ASP.NET Core application, create a new project. And from the projects, I'm selecting ASP.NET Core Web Application and click Next. After that, and the project name is First App. And I'm saving this application in E Drive, which is in this folder. Click Create. After that, from the templates, I'm selecting React.js and Redux. Click Create. And here our project has been created successfully. Let me close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Notice in our project, when I created this application, there are some default folders and files has been created automatically. From this application, the controllers folder contains the server-side logic. And the client app contains all our RAMGS applications now in this client app contains two more folders subfolders called public and source and the, when i expand the source folder contains a components which will create our components in our folder in this folder and public folder contains the index.html and manifest.json file the index.html file which renders on the browser displays our components now, before creating our new component in ASP.NET Core, first let's check the default output of our application. Run this application. When you run this application first time, it will take time. And here we got the output of our ASP.NET Core application, the address application. This is a home component. Next one is a counter component and fetch data component. Now let's create our own component to display on this browser. Switch over to the Visual Studio. Let's stop debugging. Open Solution Explorer. I am creating a new component in this components folder. Let me expand this components folder. I click the component, add new item. I am creating the JS file, JavaScript file, which is here. And the file name I am adding is uh, uh, hello, hello.js. Click add. And here we got our uh, hello.js component JavaScript file. First, let's import the uh, React library from include uh, import react from react class after that i'm defining a class called hello extends component and this class component contains the main method called render and i want to render Whatever we write the code here, that displays on the browser. So return, return, I want to return the output. The div component, in every component we must add the div element. Div element is a root element. Inside the div element, we will add multiple HTML elements. Here I am adding h1, 
ASP.NET Core React JS with Redux tutorials. Tutorials H2 Tutorial 1. And after that, we need to export export default my component name hello let's save this application now i want to render this component when page loads so first we need, we need to configure our hello.js in index.txx file open that one here notice in the render method contains the app component which is the default component of our application now i'm deleting this app component i'm adding my component is a hello hello so we need to add we need to import our component that's it let's save this application now run this application to check the output and here we got the final output of our application that is our component contains the headers asp.net core react.js with redux tutorials this is our react tutorials one that's it in this first video tutorial i have explained how to create a new React.js and Redux ASP.NET Core application and how to create a component and render on the browser. That's it. We'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.